Miniso also has plans overseas to hedge against slowing growth at home. Evelyn Cheng has more on that for us. Evelyn. Thank you, Emily. Yes, as we heard from Miniso's CFO just earlier, they have huge plans for expanding in China and overseas. And I actually talked with the CEO a couple weeks ago, and he was really excited about the growth opportunities in the U.S. in particular. Uh, they opened a store in Soho in Manhattan in February, and he says GMV at that location is about $500,000 U.S. dollars a month. He expects that will double to $1 million in December, and he's so optimistic that you know, this could become their foothold in the U.S., that they could really expand their business. Uh, this $10 and under uh, store that they're planning to bring to the market there. If you look at the macro picture, it does make sense for Miniso to amp up its investment in the overseas market right now. Certainly, you know, one quarter is not necessarily a trend, but in the first quarter they said that growth in China grew by 2% versus 17% overseas. And so, you know, not only are they opening the store in Soho, but they're planning a North America product development center in New York later this year. So really pushing heavily into that market. And you can see this is not just a trend for Miniso, but for many companies in home appliances really pushing overseas. Back to you. Evelyn, I've been to the Miniso store and my kids really like the Marvel characters as well as the Disney characters. Uh, and the company, of course, uh, expanding over the United States. What kind of difficulties do they face uh, when they are trying to expand overseas? Right. For Chinese companies in general, I mean, the geopolitical situation is not that helpful. We've seen a slowdown, if not a drop, in M&A overseas because of the increased scrutiny. I mean, you think about higher actually acquired GE appliances a couple of years ago. And that sort of deal is basically unthinkable nowadays, just the level of scrutiny on this these deals. With consumer brands, it seems, you know, still it ba it's on the end market who's buying these products and if you get into something like tech zte had trouble getting its smartphone business in the u.s off the ground um, we'll see if the case is different for some of these you know toys that miniso is selling um, but overall it's a difficult geopolitical environment difficult macro environment but we see how companies are really pushing ahead on a strategy here to go global where they can